This video is going to be a tutorial on how to add new leagues into Football Manager. When you're creating a new save, you're eventually going to get to this screen where you can add in new active leagues. These either can be playable leagues or leagues that you can just view. And if you click on the add slash remove leagues button here, you're going to get the entire list of leagues that are available in Football Manager. And these are generally the base leagues that are available in Football Manager, but you are able to add other countries' leagues. So as we can see here, I've added the Philippines. The Philippines is not available in the base versions of the game, but we can add new countries just as I've done with the Philippines here so that you can play in those countries and other leagues. So this is what we're going to do here is look at how to add new countries using the pre-game editor into Football Manager. To add new countries into Football Manager, you're going to use the pre-game editor, which when buying Football Manager is available for free on Steam. Just look for the Football Manager editor. Once you are in the editor, you're going to need to select a database to use. For this, you can just select the most updated database. In this case, for me, it's 24.3. And after that, you can click OK, and it will load this database so that you can start your edit. And once the database has been loaded, you're going to go to this default screen here. So what we're going to do to add a new league is go to Rules, and then we're going to go into Add Nation Rules. From here, we're going to click on a new nation. What you click on here will depend on what you're trying to do. For example, in England, if you wanted to add lower divisions below the Vanarama North and South, you would click on Add Lower Divisions and Cups to an Existing Structure. So this would add those lower leagues to what is already available in the game in England. However, if you want to add a new country, you're going to Create New Competition and Rules, and then you're going to click on Nation. You're going to go to other nations and this will have effectively every other nation in the world. So just scroll down to the nation that you want to find. For the most part, this is an alphabetical order. So just scroll through alphabetically. I'm going to look for the Philippines. So we're going to scroll down to P. We're going to go Philippines and then we're going to click next and settings. At this point, you will create the season update day. This is when everything will change for the new season, like when you're playing the game and you get that season update. This is when that season update will occur. For me, it'll be June 20th. The last thing you'll do is create the start and end dates for the season. So in this case, the first match would be played on August 10th, and the final match would be played on May 15th, 2024. You can change these depending on when you want the season to occur or not occur or when it occurs in real life. So for this, you could just Google the date of the first game and the date of last game and then use that to implement in here. So again, this will be the date of the first match. This will be the date of the final match. And once you have all that set up, you can click on finish. Once you have completed those specifications, you'll be taking to this screen here. Well, then you will be specifying the nation rules for the league you are including. So the first step will be to actually add those divisions. So you're going to click on divisions here and you're going to click on add divisions. For this, you'll want to add a single division. So this will create a league table. After that, you can click next and select the competition. For this, the competition should already be loaded into the Football Manager editor, so you just need to click on the relevant competition. Make sure that it has the correct number of teams. As a note for the Philippines, it says seven teams here because it's still using the old format. The new format with 15 teams won't be available in the game until FM25. Once you've added the competition here, just click Next, and you can include the number of rounds. The number of rounds will be the total number of times that teams play each other. In the English Premier Division, each team plays each other twice, so you would write two. In the Philippines, in the old format, each team played each other four times, so I would write four. After that, you'll include the substitution rules. This will be how many players are on the bench. So this will be how many subs from how number the number of players on the bench. So in this case, you would be allowed 10 subs from 11 players on the bench. In this case, I think most leagues do five from nine and three stops now. 
So I'm going to do five subs from nine subtotal subs and three stops. Then if you're doing a lower league, you could include the number of promotion places. If you had a league with relegation, then you would include the number of relegation spots. As a note, if you're going to add a number of relegation spots, which the PFL doesn't have, so I'll put zero, you will need to make sure that you add a league below it. Otherwise, it won't allow you to add in those relegation spots. And the last thing you can do is include a match day for when you want most matches to be played. I'm not going to include the match day. Otherwise, it'll just generically set it to Saturday or Sunday. And then you can click on finish. Once you clicked on finish, you'll have added the league, but you'll need to make sure the rules are correct. So click on divisions, click on the league, and then you can start off by going to general. In here, you'll want to specify things like the number of points for a win, draw, and defeat. So in this case, it's three, one, and zero. The last thing you'll want to scroll down to is the league sorting rules. So make sure you add league sorting rules. This is what's going to occur when there is a draw. So if two teams finish on the same number of points and they've drawn their number of points over the course of the season, this will allow you to specify so that football manager doesn't just randomly pick a team to finish ahead of the other. So in this case, in general, it's goal difference. And then usually after that, it's goal scored. So you can go through and look for goals for. So goals difference and goals for should be fine for most league sorting rules. Finally, you can add in a certain amount of television money per club. The Philippines Football League doesn't really have any television money, so I'm not going to add anything here. But if your league does have matches on television and they have a television deal, you can add an amount of money per club here. For this, this will be an equal amount of money for each club. I also like to add in prize money for most of these leagues. The reason for that is if you're going to add this league into Football Manager, like most smaller leagues in real life, the owners of the clubs bankroll the club, but that isn't really a thing in Football Manager. So to help make it self-sustaining and so that clubs just don't bankrupt, I think it's a good idea to add a certain amount of prize money depending on where the team finishes in the league. So if a team finishes first, they'll get a certain amount of money, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on and so forth. Since there are seven teams, I can add in prize money for all the different teams depending on where they finish in the table. So here I'll specify where they finish and then I can add in a certain amount of prize money. For example, maybe the winner will get 200,000 pounds and I can slowly work my way down from here. For the most part, that is everything for the league system. You would repeat the same process if there are leagues below the PFL, for example. So if there was a second or third division, just go into secondary visions. You would add the leagues there to the existing structure and repeat the same process. The last thing you'll need to do is add the cup structure. In this case, you'll go down to cups here. You'll click on add and you'll do the exact same thing. This could either be an FA cup, a super cup or an other cup. If, for example, like the English Community Shield, you can click on the Super Cup here and add that one match competition. But the Philippines, as far as I know, doesn't have that. So we're just going to add in an FA Cup. You'll repeat the process there where you'll choose on competition. Click on the correct competition. And then you can add the total number of teams. In general, when you're adding the teams, just click Add. You'll add the teams in the football league. So in this case, this is the league we've just included. And then you can add and do like all of the other teams as well. If you do this, no matter how many number of teams is, it'll just kind of work out with football manager if you complete the default settings. So after that, just add in all the teams that are in this competition. Click on next and you'll do the same number of things. So you can click on a number of games. I generally leave this blank so that football manager just does it automatically. You can do the same match rules where if it's just one match, does it go to extra time and then penalties? In this case, I'll click extra time and then it'll go to penalties. You can add in the same substitution rules from previously. So we'll do five from nine and three stops, but I'm also going to add one in extra time in case it goes to extra time. And then I just leave the match day blank. If you leave these two things blank, football manager will just make it work automatically. And then you can click on finish. Then once you've added the cup structure, you can do the same thing as previously, go through and look at the general stuff for the cups. So in this case, I wouldn't change anything on the general or the cup rounds, but when you go into the match rules, you can define any match day rules that you want. For example, substitution rules, 
a maximum number of foreign players. You can also do this um, for the league if you can only have six foreign players or something like that. The final thing that you can do if you want to add a certain amount of money for winning per game is you can go to the each individual rounds here, which are here. You can also name them if you want, but they're already there. And you can add a certain amount of prize money. So for example here, you could add a third place payoff or something, but just go in through. You can add a certain amount of money here. So for example, this would be the winner and the final, and you can add prize money for the winner, prize money for the loser. If you want a certain amount of money that comes from winning in one of these rounds or for the winner of the cup. So for example here, you could add a 100,000 pound um, prize money for the winner of this cup competition. So once you have gone through and done all that, you'll have set up the league and cup structure, which is not too difficult. Then to make sure that everything is valid, just go into rules and you can test rules. And this will make sure that everything can work properly in game. So go through, click on test rules. And in this case, it says the current nation rules are valid, which means we're good to go. If they weren't valid, you'd get an error message here telling you what the error message is. And then you would need to go back through and fix that. But for us, the current nation rules are valid, so we can click OK. And once we've done that, we can go through and save it. So go to File, go to Save Editor Data As. As you're saving it, just make sure it's in the Editor Data folder. So go to your FM24 folder, then go to Editor Data. You're going to save it there and just title it whatever you want. So in this case, I'll title it New Philippines League. So I'll go through, I'll finish that, and then you can click save. And once that editor has data has been saved, you can now play this in Football Manager. To then play this in Football Manager, just go to start a new game and career. Once you get to this screen here, you'll go to database and then select what you want it in. So for me, I'll click on new Philippines league here. I have a bunch of Philippines league. So I'll click on new Philippines league. This just make sure that whatever you have it saved as you click on that, click on confirm, then go to choose game mode, play whatever game mode you want. Once you get the screen to add remove leagues, click on your new league, click on confirm, and now you can play that. The final thing that I'll note with this is if you're playing in a new league, oftentimes football manager doesn't have all the data that it needs for that league, like from real life. So it will include a lot of grayed out players just because it doesn't know a lot of the players in the league. Even in the Philippines, for example, they still have players like Phil Young Husband and other players who are retired. So to make sure that you have a completely filled out league, I would click on the make sure that down here, add players to playable teams. Make sure that is clicked. This will allow the game to generate players so that all teams have a full squad just as they would in real life. And once you've done that, you have completed everything that you need to do, and you can click on Start Game so that you can actually play with your new loaded league. So I hope this helps those of you who want to play in a new league that is not currently in Football Manager. Honestly, it's a tedious process, but it's not too difficult, and once you're able to figure it out, then you can play a lot of different leagues in FM24. And with that, I hope this video has helped you. I hope you all are doing well, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!